Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be a recent Aries Moon and Aries Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for 17th of September to 23rd of September and while I'm shuffling, um, again to remind you that should you go for a, a personal reading with me because this is a, a general reading for the star sign, this is not your personal reading um, you can check out my website which is written down below in the description of this video and there you will find the whole list of the services I'm providing and as well their pricings and don't forget that as it is a the end of the summer there is a, a summer end going sale which adds 10 minutes to the 30 minute service so in reality you save $22 as the 10 minute service costs uh, $22 yeah and uh, this is uh, is going on till the end of September. So that being said, <clears throat> going to the tarot, tarot card spread first now, let me cut the cards and it's going to be a four card um, spread. So the first card that it is about the topic of your week, Aries, is we have the strength card. The second card which points to the core of the situation for you, this is going to be the two of swords third card is about the challenges that you should uh, overcome for uh, the duration of the week that will be the chariot and the last one it is the guidance that you should follow here we do have the devil card all right so let me put the tarot away and what we have it's a a, a typical week where um a one specimen, one person, you know, really wants to involve themselves into a certain activity, although the uh, week rather advises you not to do so. Now, the core of the situation, it is pretty much giving us a hint about it. We do have the Two of Swords, which is the card um, that kind of like advises the person to wait for um, for the very reason that the undertaking or the enterprise or the project did not develop yet to a stage where something can be done about it and the topic of your week pretty much speaks as well about it we do have the strength card which in your case here Aries is as it is threatened here by the elemental dignities in between these couple of cards the strength and the uh, and the two of swords points that you have to persevere through that week uh, relying on your patience so even though you want to kind of like initiate even though you kind of like uh, want to uh, give a go to your private project you know or to jump forward into your career or you know in relationship wise to experience something new with your boyfriend or girlfriend or to start dating with another person that you have uh, an eye on it will be advisable as i said this week to rather uh put these things on how and focus more upon obtaining more of an, an equilibrium in your life because the two of swords as the core of the situation the core of this week is about maintaining that precious equilibrium in all of the fields in your life in between your career and your in your romantic life in between your family and your boyfriend or a girlfriend etc etc and uh, when we when we talk about that, it will be best if you kind of achieve that equilibrium through kindness, because the strength card is talking exactly about that. You know, be a slumber or kind of defeat the aggression of the time, not the aggression of other people, but the aggression of uh, the um, overall grand scheme of things. Because if you uh, let me let me explain it that way if you want to jump into something and you can't that kind of um, gives a, a prerequisite one to become a little bit more aggressive frustrated agitated etc etc so you have to aim to kind of like uh, overcome this uh, particular aggression with kindness and the chariot card here uh, which represents the challenges that you have to overcome the chariot represents exactly that the chariot represents um, pushing forward no matter what and also it does represent that one uh, 
is ignorant to the consequences of one's actions uh, for the benefit of initiating something new into their lives. Uh, so therefore one burns uh, too quickly and too ignorantly a uh, bridges with their past further into the future that one could start regretting doing so. Therefore you should kind of like um, don't try to again push it way too hard when we do have the chariot card there and the chariot card also represents being convicted uh, be, being convinced excuse me not convicted but convinced that uh, what you do is the right thing because the uh, chariot card is also about convinc uh, um, uh, convictions and uh, one could you know one could be very uh, confused should they wait or should they do whatever they can regarding that project, enterprise or activity? And, you know, as these cards are pointing, the first couple of cards which are pointing to the material point of your, uh, of your week, Aries says, it will be rather for you to just wait, wait a little bit longer and uh, don't kind of like, uh, you know, initiate whatever you, you try to initiate. Or whatever you you have anticipated to initiate for the duration of this week especially if the situation is very vague because the two of swords sometimes the expresses that there isn't an information missing there is something that kind of alludes you there or there is a, a misinterpret information that could eventually uh, make you um, question your decisions and could uh, force you to make a wrong decision which uh, get us to the final card of your spread, the devil card, and that is regarding decisions in your particular case. Because the devil card has a, a property of one being afraid not to make the wrong choice. And as soon as you kind of face that fear that you have a, a possibility to make the wrong choice regarding a, a particular activity in your life, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, this is exactly the place where you have to, um, where you basically have to stop doing something about it, where you have to basically start waiting and see if that and when that particular piece of an information or an event that it is about to come you know, happen or come to you, in information I mean. So you can now have the scale leaning toward one particular decision that you have to make, so you know which decision is the right one. So it's kind of like it's going to be a little bit of a uh, indecisive week for you, Irises, where, you know, it will be kind of frustrating not to be able to make a step forward, but that is for the greater good, because, um, as I said here and as the cards are displaying, uh, there is something, either an information or an event that it is about to happen, that it is yet to define how this activity and how this enterprise will go forward and is it going to happen in a positive or a negative way. <clears throat> so pretty much that was the uh, tarot reading for you. Now let's see what the Lenormand reading has to say. Well, the Lenormand will display an event that is going to happen this week and you should either look forward to or try to avoid. So, let me cut. And we have the, um, the garden, which is associated with uh, social gatherings, group of people, etc, etc. Then we do have the path, which is associated with choices, all right? So again, that is tightly connected with this reading. It's, it's associated with choices, multiple paths to be taken, etc., etc. And then we do have the mountain that points to delays, probably of an information. <clears throat> So that decision will, uh, that decision that you will have to make, you know, or that enterprises that you will try to initiate will involve uh, other people that is seen here with uh, the garden. So we do have a decision that you have to make about a, a people that you either work with, date with, or hang out with, all right? And that decision has to be delayed here because there is something missing, either a piece of an information or either a event that you are waiting to happen so you can make your final judgment about it. 
so pretty much that was um, the Tarot and the Lenormand reading, your weekly reading Aries for the 17th of September to 23rd of September. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you liked it and uh, I hope it does make sense to you because this again is not your personal reading. This is a, a general reading for your star sign. And for personal readings uh, you can go to my website which is written down below in the description of this video and uh, there you will find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So, right signing out now. See you next time. Bye.